Hello, welcome to my old maple home. I'm Elizabeth and today we are going to be getting this front porch of our historic 1800s Victorian home, all beautified for the spring season. I'm going to take you along as I decorate this space and refresh it. We're going to be adding so many beautiful elements, including these items that I got from Balsam Hill. We're going for a lot of hydrangeas, topiaries, So here we are on our historic front porch in our little village that does get a lot of traffic. So I do like to pay as much attention to the outside of the home as I do the inside. I've shared a lot of different outdoor projects with you, especially in the spring and summer when I am most motivated to get out and make things look pretty again. These rocking chairs sadly did not hold up well in the winter. We really should have stored them in the basement, but we didn't. So here I am just trying to clean them up a bit. And eventually I think I'm going to need to spray paint them to bring them back to their former glory. But a little soap and water today will just have to do. It is officially spring here in Michigan, although when I filmed this a couple weeks ago, it was still quite chilly. I want to say it was around 50 some degrees, which to us felt wonderful to get out and get some work done around the house. And so now I am recruiting Cameron, my husband here, to bring some urns up so I can flank either side of our front door. And these are going to be the new vessels for those Balsam Hill topiaries. And then these that have been here all winter that have done fabulous are going down uh, by the entrance to the front porch. So we're playing a little game of musical urns here. It always feels good to get that first spring clean done outside and around the house after a long, dark, gloomy winter. If you love plants up on your porch like I do and you're also worried about watering them and potentially causing stains and damage to your wooden porch, I suggest getting something artificial like these topiaries and these are from Balsam Hill. Gorgeous quality of course, they're lush and sturdy and quite realistic looking. But I did want to, of course, plant some real flowers because I just couldn't wait any longer to get my hands in some dirt. So we are planting up some pansies around the outside edge of these urns. And I will say that my original thought of having no real plants up on the porch was the best idea because I have been struggling to remember to get these watered so we've had a few days where they've been a little sad and droopy until I remember to bring my watering can out and refresh them but I do love real flowers of course and pansies always seem to be quite hardy in the cold weather and of course I love the blue color so we're gonna pop these little guys in around the topiaries
I had quite a few pansies left over, so I thought I would also place some in this really cool planter, this head that I found at a yard sale a couple seasons ago. And I did take you along with me on that one. So if you've been around long enough to remember when I got this, I'm so glad you're still here. But we are in zone 5B here. So I'm still waiting probably another month. I think May 31st is when we can officially really start getting everything in the ground and planting up all of the flowers at my that I'm dreaming of having this year. And if you love to garden, you love flowers and uh, landscape design, garden design, things like that, I hope you'll stick around because I do have some content planned with more outdoor projects with a focus on gardening and garden design coming up. It's another one of my passions, maybe even more so than home decor at this point. I'll insert some footage of a recent makeover that we did on the front flower bed right here by the porch. Since we have lived in this house over two and a half years now, this front flower bed has seen quite a transformation. We completely redid it um, the first year we lived here, and I do have a full video on that. It looks completely different. I really wanted to make it a more formal space, and I wanted the hydrangeas, and now we are adding in some more evergreen interest. perennials and they're evergreen so we're going to always have some they're not going to drop all their leaves in the winter which is going to be beautiful and it says they can bloom uh, late spring all the way through summer and it also says it can possibly bloom twice um, again in the fall so I'm really excited for these they're going to have like a nice drift to them and almost like a ground cover they're only going to get um, maybe 10 inches high at the most. So I think these are gonna be perfect for the front, for the border to create that tiered garden look. Well, I hope you don't mind that we veered off from decorating the porch for just a few moments to enjoy some gardening um, around the front of the house. I think it kind of all ties together, the front porch being styled and decorated, and then the front flower bed looking nice for spring. Um, you'll have to let me know down in the comments what you've been up to around the house and what plans you have for your garden, and if that's something that you also really enjoy doing, because I have definitely gotten into it big time over the last year or so, and it just keeps evolving. I don't think it's something that you can ever really get sick of. I just enjoy it so, so much. It's so rewarding. decorating the porch for spring and of course you have to have a wreath on your door it's like the crown jewel of the front porch decor so I'm using these clear adhesive hooks that I found off of Amazon and I think these are going to be a really good alternative to a hook bracket or a command strip I never seem to have luck with those and this gorgeous wreath is from Balsam Hill and it is an ivory colored hydrangea. And these are actually real touch 
hydrangeas. So I actually wanted to put this in the house because I thought it was just so beautiful. Couldn't find a place for it. So the front porch it is and it's just dreamy, so beautiful. Actually, you should go check out Balsam Hill right now because they were having a 50% off sale and they may still be having some sales going on for their spring um, decor. So now would be a great time to pick something up that you want to have for a very, very, very long time. I plan on passing a lot of these things down to my children because they are for sure going to last that long. And then here are the artificial hydrangeas that Balsam Hill also carries. And once again, they are the real touch. So they are just so realistic looking, very authentic, and they're so pretty. And I got the green colored and then the white colored and popped them into some beautiful blue ceramic pots. I love the contrast of all of these colors together, especially the blues and the greens. Those are my favorite colors to decorate with. But I love that I don't have to worry about watering these. I don't have to worry about any staining on my porch. And they look so real. If you really enjoyed watching me decorate my porch for 2024 then here is how i decorated it last year for 2023 it is completely different i do something different every year so i thought if you wanted some extra inspiration i would pop in some footage of how i went about getting it ready for spring last season Okay, these are just some little like metal planters that I had on the porch that I think I thrifted over the winter or something. So I figured I will just give them a fresh coat of white paint and then see if we can pop a plant or something in these and have them all ready to go for when we're ready to do our flowers.
right guys, so another thing I think I need to do is just spray paint these urns white. Uh, the black, it's just not jiving with all my other decor out here. So I think just spray painting them, making them white so they pop off of this dark red brick. I think that's gonna look better. I'm gonna be happier with it. So I just went and stocked up on white spray paint here. And let's just do that real quick. After seeing the plain white planters, I decided that they needed a little bit of definition. So I'm just using this Dixie Belle brown wax to bring out a little bit more of the detail of the urn. So I'm just going to rub it right into the little grooves at the very bottom. And that's going to really enhance the shape of the urn. Dreamers of the Well, we are still having gorgeous weather here in Michigan, so I'm able to continue working on the porch. And I went and got some flowers today, some pansies. Obviously there wasn't a lot out since it's still so early in the season for us here in Michigan. We actually are probably going to be getting some more frosts. So I have to be very careful, but I thought for the big reveal, how pretty it would look with some live flowers on the porch to bring in just a beautiful pop of color. And yeah, I got some other things too today. I'm going to try and keep a rose bush alive. So I'm going to plant one in a big pot that I found that was on sale, not by much, but hey, uh, we'll try that. And then that way I can move it around if it needs more or less sun, not really sure. My hydrangeas are looking good. They're blooming up. Do you guys remember that video I did last summer where we completely gutted the whole front flower bed of our home? Everything was overgrown and I just wanted some color. Hydrangeas, I just love hydrangeas. They make me happy. So that's what we put in. I'll show you how those are looking now. So many of you thought that they had died last year, but I babied them so much and I think they're gonna do okay. You saw how we reconfigured the front flower bed and that looks so much better. So that way we'll have these planters here uh, framing either side of the porch. I got the railing here painted. So everything is just getting fresh. The neighborhood is just buzzing. Everybody's been out and working in their yards and getting things cleaned up. We're all getting a head start because we know there's actually snow in the forecast here within the next couple of days. So that's Michigan for you. You gotta just take it when you can get it. All right, so here's what we got blooming so far in the front flower bed. Obviously these plants are still very young, but we got some really nice growth happening on them. These are, I think they're endless summer hydrangeas. So they've already been fertilized. I already did the, I think it's what the phosphorus that makes them turn blue because I love the blue hydrangeas and we have some allium here that I planted last fall. All those are coming up nice. Those will be nice big fluffy blue balls of allium. That'll be pretty too. And then I might do my petunias or something fun like a fun annual around the front like I did last year because that looked so pretty. If 
Days like these last With one another With the feeling past Would you find out with me If it all starts to crumble Or search the pieces So I'm going to attempt to plant a rose bush in this planter. Hopefully this is going to be big enough for it. Um, I've never done a rose bush before, but I figure it'll at least work for a while. So this is the one I got. I know nothing about roses. This is all just for fun and an experiment, but I thought I'd just uh, take you guys along with me as we get it planted and then we'll find a good spot for it. It says that it needs full sun, six hours of direct sun a day. So I can put it in many different places and that'll be so fun to have a beautiful rose bush if it does work well. And we have all this extra dirt from moving around our little flower bed there. So I figured I would use some of that in my new planter here. Second hand, I felt a bit forgotten. Not your plan, but now the days of silence outgrow the fun things we have done. But tell me, do you want to carry on? Plants don't grow without water, and they cave when it's cold. We Oh, oh, oh. 